Today we're making Mexican style coleslaw. Here's what you need. Some salt, pepper and sugar, one red onion, two garlic cloves, a lime, some fresh coriander, big head of cabbage, some olive oil. We're gonna start by taking the outer leaves off our cabbage and then we're gonna begin chopping it. Just gonna chop it in half like so and then those halves you're gonna chop in half. Turn on its side and cut the core out just like that. And once we've taken off the core, we're going to cut those into half once again. And once you've done that, you're going to turn it sideways and then you're going to make your thin cabbage slices. The closer you get to your hands, the slower you chop. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer all that to the bowl. Moving on to the onion, we're going to cut the root and the stem off and then we're going to cut it in half and take the skins off, just like this. Then we're going to turn it on its side and uh, make thin slices from root to stem, just like the pickled red onion recipe. And then you're going to try your best to separate them into individual slices. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to mix it all together anyway. Uh, with the lime, it's going to roll it around to release some of the juices and cut it in half. I'm going to squeeze that layer. What we've got next is garlic. Okay, just chop the ends off the garlic, give it a little crush with your blade, take the skins off, and then you're gonna start to chop it finely, just like that. Almost there, guys. We're gonna chop up the coriander now. It's gonna fold it up and then finely chop it, just like you did the garlic. Okay, now it's time to assemble the coleslaw. Drizzle it with about two tablespoons of olive oil. Add your seasonings, add the red onions, add the garlic, the coriander, obviously your fresh squeezed limes. Do you know what? I think I added two limes to this, so um, add the limes to your preference. Okay, the last and probably most satisfying step is we're gonna get in there with our hands and just mix it all together. Yeah, you're gonna try and massage it, distribute all the seasoning, the oil evenly. I hope you enjoyed the video today guys, leave a comment and I'll see you soon.